All right, guys, I'm just making this video of a review of the Still BG56C. I've had this blower for about three or four months now, and it's got a decent amount of use. I have a Still BR600 sitting over there, but this is kind of one that I use to get in between bushes and just small areas. And I have the vacuum kit for it, which I will mention in this video. I will also mention um, the good things and the bad things about this blower and the um, price point and all that and as well as like just you know problems and stuff I had so far which actually speaking of problems I don't know why I mentioned that but there ha I have had no problems with this thing so far um, pretty good blower so just get right into it here with the uh, good features what I think is good about the features um, it has the auto choke system uh, the BG50 does not actually have this but as you can see right here, when you put it on full choke and you press the throttle, you see it up in the top corner, it goes by itself. That's nice. You know, it's just one less step you have to do to start it. Another good thing about starting it is um, the pull cord is uh, very easy to pull. I can't do it with one hand here, but it's, or I can't, kind of can, but it's pretty easy to pull. Um, here, uh, it's got an adjustable tube. I can't really adjust it with one hand. Actually, let me try here. Yeah, I can right here. You can get it back and forth, or you can take them completely off. I actually prefer it. Um, it's an off. I prefer it on the um, long setting because you can get right down by the ground with it. And it's that. Um, it's very quiet. It's got a pretty decent sized muffler here. It's rated at 70 decibels there. Um, it's got the uh, auto automatic uh, like on and off kill switch like when you press it off it turns off and it goes back to on which is nice um, so flip around the back here pretty simple design here if you're right handed then you know it's the engines on your side so it doesn't suck in your pants or anything it's on the other side it's nice um, Right here, it's got an easy to service air filter, pretty decent quality as well. And it's that there. Uh, bad things, it is a little bit heavy, but another a good thing about that, is, or a good thing is that it's really well balanced. I have two other blowers, two other handheld blowers, a Echo PB200 and a Ryobi four stroke. This is by far the most balanced one also has a ton of power for how little it is and yeah it's i don't remember the exact ratings of cfm or anything but it's very very good bad things um it, it's a little bit you have to use the screwdriver to get the um the um like a vacuum kit on here and it's kind of sometimes can be a little tricky to get these little tubes on it takes a little while i will show the vacuum kit as well i have one i'll make a separate clip and add it onto this to show it. Um, it's, and also when you put it on the ground, it kind of, you know, it vibrates away compared to some other ones. But um, that's that. And another thing, sometimes the gas can or the gas tank gets pressurized and it'll like shoot a little bit of gas out when you open it. I just opened it right before this video, so you know, nothing happened. But if it sits for a little bit, it will get pressurized. I don't know why. Um, uh, right after this, I'll just cut this video here and I will show the vacuum attachment. This is the, um, thing with the blower, the BG56 with the, uh, bagging kit. This kit is available for, I think, about $50. Um, you know, out of, like, as an accessory. There is the SH56, which is the same thing. But I bought mine and the vacuum attachment at a different time. But uh, that's that. Um, right into it, it has a pretty big bag. Like, I mean, you can see the size of the blower compared to the bag. It's a pretty big bag. And it's got a good shoulder strap. You can uh, adjust down there. And um, it's a big zipper on the back here. So when you unload it, it's a big zipper. You can unzip it and it, everything you know comes out pretty easy. Um, 
It's got a big tube here. It is, it has another handle on the bottom so you can hold it with two hands, which is nice. Uh, the tube at the end is like this shape here so it's not completely round. It doesn't get stuck on stuff, which is nice. It's too dark in there, you can kind of see that all the way down at the bottom, but um, it's pretty nice. I haven't used it too much, but it's you know, nice when you do use it. You will need this a screwdriver to take it off you have to use it in this little piece here um, right here and to get this cover off there's a little thing over here when the covers on but that is it with the bagging attachment or the little shredder attachment and um, I will cut to another video another clip of it actually working in action I don't have any leaves to blow but it'll be blowing some debris and you can see how it works. Alright guys, so this is the blowing part of the video, the actual usage, actual usage here. Um, do cold start, it's completely cold, full choke, six primes, the whole hydraulic does it already. And, uh, <laughs> warm up for a second and then I'll start blowing over here. I got some debris uh, and I'll blow it over there and I'll do the whole thing. As you guys saw there, uh, that's the blower. Just gonna talk prices and warranties and stuff now. Just got done using it. Um, this unit right here, I think, is about $180 by itself. Um, I got it at a steel dealer. That's pretty much the only place you can buy them. Um, I got mine. It was $214, $215 out the door. And um, I bought the six pack of oil, which doubles the warranty actually. So I think it has a four year warranty now, before it was just been a two. Um, you buy the six pack of oil, makes six gallons of mixed gas. It's very nice oil, I use it in all my stuff actually. But um, it's $215 with tax and that oil out the door. It's pretty nice. Um, the, as I said, the bagger kit, was, or the shredder kit was about $50 and uh, yeah, it was that. I was blowing some stuff out of my one of my flower beds here. I'm not still gonna use some weed killer and stuff. Um, using my 
Echo SRM225 there. It's another good trimmer right there. But, um, yeah, that's that. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.